welcome back to my channel and um, I've just got the usual it's a shopping haul a um, bit different one this week it's uh, from a place called Migros now Migros is a big I would say like Asda but maybe with a bit of Morrison so it's not the cheapest place but it has the most variety and it has a lot of English stuff not loads but you know enough um, and I love going and we go probably about once every three weeks and um, it's a massive big um, what they call AVM it's um, just like loads and loads of shops like a shopping centre uh, and there's just some really really gorgeous shops um, as well so um, we did the Migros now the one we went to was the Migros 5 which means it's the biggest Migros so they, like you get the Migros 1, 2, 3, 4, obviously and 5, which is the biggest. So some are just like corner shops, a bit bigger than ordinary corner shops. Some are just like um, a small supermarket and then they get bigger. The Migros 5 is the biggest one. And um, I love going. Um, it's just so nice to walk around. There's a few bits that I got yesterday as well, but I'll, uh, I'll show you as I go along. And I've been stocking up on vegetables and stuff. So I've got some sprouts. They look quite nice. I'm trying to find fresh mint. But apparently it's not the season for fresh mint. And why is that going funny? Oh, sorry about that. My lens suddenly went... The lens shutter suddenly closed on itself. Right, the sprouts. They look nice. These are strawberries. Um, I don't know if you can see them. They look gorgeous. I did get some yesterday. But I ate quite a few and it was just a very small punnet. And it was at the local shop near me. So, um, yeah, they look lovely in there. There's... I don't actually say what they are. Canning Benim, which means friend. Hello, friend. Um, cream. This is Seth. Ichim. Ichim. Seth. Uh, I've not I've actually used any cream at the moment, but Itchin Seth is it's a little bit between single and double, but not whipping, so it doesn't whip up very well. But it's great. I want to make a a korma. I actually want to make a kima korma uh, sauce, and I was I've, I've looked everywhere for coconut milk, which is what you use, and I can't find any. So I'm just going to use cream and see how it turns out and I've got curry powders and stuff but we'll see and um, look at this one this lettuce looks amazing they were stacked up massive and they're all just been sprayed with water it's an iceberg lettuce you don't see this very often you do see you don't see romaine lettuces you just see um like those loose leaf long lettuces which they're all right I'm not keen on them, but these I could use to, you know, pick up, put cream cheese in and things like that, use it as bread, which is nice. Yesterday I got an avocado. I am not mad. If I turn it that, that better. If I turn it this way, it's better. You get the sun for the, the sun coming in through the window and it spoils the camera. Um, this is obviously not ready, not yet at all. Um, and I'm not a big lover of avocado. Now they say when that pops off, it's ready, and that looks like it's ready to come. I'll see anyway. But I'm going to try it with toast and um, boiled egg. I've got some cucumbers. You don't get English cucumbers here. We just get these. Again, I got a few just to put me on, but they were really tiny ones. What we would call like the snack cucumbers, and they weren't as tasty as these. This is. Bayaz Sesh Sec, which is white vinegar, and this is ready just to clean the windows because look at this. Oh, it's not the, oh, it is. Look at the state of the windows, and do you know what it is? There's so many wild, wild cats, feral cats. They're quite friendly, and they come and sit on here. And sometimes I'll put milk out, and some, and they're so <laughs> they just make such a mess. Can you see? You can't see it, can you? You can't see it all up here. They make such a mess, so I need to wash them. And um, I'm going to use this as well. So, but that is to maybe polish the windows. 
Right, and um, Coca-Cola. I like my Cokers, you know. Shaker, which is this. Got a little tag underneath it. Makes it a sh. Shaker. Sis. So Shaker is sugar. Sis means no sugar. It's the wrong way around. So this is like Diet Coke. You don't ever see Diet Coke here. Oh, I have, I've never seen any. So I can drink that, obviously. Um, salt, because yesterday I filled up my salt pot and emptied the one I had. So I've got some more. See the pineapple slices? Oh, <laughs> my daughter said, oh, you just want a gammon steak now, don't you? I'm in a Muslim country. I'm not going to get a gammon steak. Um, but there is a, there's, there's a place in the town called Porkline where you can actually get bacon, sausages, all sorts of stuff. I might go and have a look tomorrow. Uh, I might have a, just have a look around the town. And if I do, I'll take you with me. So sliced pineapples and there's going to be a pineapple upside down cake. Love them. Heinz baked beans. Looks like they're home, isn't it? Um, these are about £1.59 a tin. But the kids love baked beans. I think I've got one tin. And I, do you know, every now and again, I really just fancy beans on toast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like half a tin and then I'll try and freeze the other half because the full tin's obviously too much. I'll have it two days running. That's the caretaker shouting outside. I don't... Stop. Oh, sorry about that. My phone went off. So yeah, I'm going to try and freeze some. But every now and again, beans on toast. So... Um, I might have to have that. Uh, President Cheddar Paneeri is cheese. This, I think it's, it feels like cheese slices. I was hoping it was grated, but I want to make um, a shepherd's pie and grate it on the top. It doesn't matter, I can always put slices on the top, so that's not a problem. This is Shaker Lee Vanilla. So it's sugar, vanilla sugar can't find vanilla essence so you just put a couple of sachets of these in and you get that nice vanilla taste these I got the other day these are just like you know confetti bits to go on the top of cakes I might do a tray bake for the kids and I also got some bicarbonate soda this is the biggest one I can find I doubt if There'll be a bigger one. There might be. They don't use like bicarb like we do. It's baharat. D R baharat carbonate bicarbonate. You see, when you get into it, you know, you can sort of get your way around the language. When I hear people talking, I have no idea what they're saying there. So, <laughs> um, frozen broccoli. No, it's not broccoli. It's got uh, cauliflower. Um, I thought that would be nice. Uh, I'm going to cook a chicken tomorrow, do some roast potatoes, I might just make a bit of cheese sauce and have this and then the chicken will do me over the weekend. I was thinking, I was going to do it today but it's Friday, I thought it was Friday, it's not, it's Thursday, so I'm not going to do it, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll get the chicken out of the freezer. Um, prawns, you know I love my prawns, these look gorgeous um, and they're quite big and they were only, I think they were £2.50. So I would say, even though there's, they're a little bit smaller, but double the amount of Morrison's ones that I used to buy, um, they're, uh, they were about the same price, but like the smaller. But if I go into town tomorrow, if you go down near the front, there's like a fish market and you can buy um, a kilogram of prawns, the knots, you have to dress them yourself. But I'm going to go and get a kilogram and then I'm going to have them with like some boiled potato and oh just lovely and I just boil them with a bit of lemon and a um, little bit of salt yeah I know it sounds strange but a little bit of salt and lemon and they're gorgeous so I'm going to do that then I got and um, I'll open them in a minute so that you can see them because the meat this is just meat but here I got lamb and steak but I'll open it and show you so I got some brown bread and um, I've been loving my Turkish bread and you've seen me buy that which is about a lira for a loaf but the brown bread is really really nice so I got some ordinary brown bread the other day and I've actually gone through it I've been craving tomato and onion sandwiches I know that's crazy 
Anyway, this has got like a seed in it. Um, it's ekbek, which means bread. Uh, this is, it's vegan, it's organic. Um, I don't know what that means. COVID-19. Ooh, I have no idea what that means. I think that's all the vitamins that are in, in the bread. I'm not sure. Um, it's 480 gram. But if this bread is really, really nice. It's quite seeded, as you can see. And I used to love that from Morrison's. You see, I'm, can you tell I'm missing Morrison's a little bit? <laughs> How strange. And um, Ruffles crisps always remind me of when I see American hauls. Ruffles and Lay's, they're all here. I'm surprised at how much stuff is like America. And um, even down to pans and things like that. It's very American. And I'm so surprised. Uh, these are tomato. Well, I was going to. I've forgotten. I'll come back to that because I've forgotten. And um, we've looked everywhere for this. This is all spice. I got cinnamon the other day. This is cinnamon. You can see it says that on there. Tarsin is cinnamon. And we were looking for all spice simply because I want to make some. Uh, yeah, bread's gone. I want to make some hot cross buns. That's what I want to make. Oh my god, it's getting worse, isn't it? Um, hot cross buns. This was one pound, just a pound. Ten lira there, point not five. So ten lira at the moment is a pound. And it is called Yeni Baha Dokme. And we were stood in the middle of the shop translating it and look it's going everywhere and all I can smell is the allspice so it's definitely the stuff but we were looking all over luckily my daughter she's got better eyes than me she's got a better brain than me as well so yeah I'm going to try and make some hot cross buns never made them before Fabrice I love this stuff I go around just about every morning spray the couch and the curtains and whatever I love it um, double ziplock bags they're not actually ziplock they're those push along ones nice I'm still trying to think what this is it's the tomato sauce stuff that you put in um, chilies and thingies I'll remember it by the time I finish the, this yesterday I got this um, as you can see I, I've given one away one is milk chocolate one side Nestle and the other one is bitter and it's the 60% bitter chocolate and um, I bet that's really nice. I'm going to keep that for special. The box was a bit battered and I think I got it a bit cheap. I got this last week, I think it was. Um, it's a glue gun. Now, I had a glue gun and I got rid of it. But I brought with me two glue sticks. I have no idea why, I, why they ended up in, in the packing, but they did. And I was saying to my daughter, oh, I brought some glue sticks. She said, I haven't even got a glue gun, Mum yeah okay so they got put in a box the other day and then i saw this and it was one pound fifty i think and it's electric so that's going to come in handy because do you remember me showing you the lamps that i got well when you get them you have to stick i'll see if i can come back a bit you have to stick the lampshade together like this well because they don't work so I've got the one in the bedroom, this one. It's still sticky, but it still doesn't work. <laughs> it just keeps popping back, so I'm going to glue gum it. Uh, these I got today. Got a pan. This was £2. It is, I'm trying to get further back. It is, um, it's a crepe, a pancake pan. I'm going to make some Yorkshire puddings over the weekend. Uh, and just make sure that this before I invite the family for like a roast dinner uh, just for a bit of a treat I'm going to try some Yorkshire puddings so that there will always be some left because the mixture there's always some mixture left so I'll try some crepes that'd be nice when the kids come because they love pancakes but my daughter now makes American pancakes and they're amazing absolutely amazing and um, potato masher I've actually got a plastic one, which is not mine. It came with the apartment, and I love it. I'm not of a key on these, but 
but I will need one at some point when I move so I've searched everywhere for a roasted tin and we'll finally found one it's about so you can't see anything it's a um, couple of inches deep great for doing roast potatoes I've sort of been doing them in like a cake tin thing which is not ideal so this is Antonia again this was two pound stuff is so cheap and I say this every time I do a haul it's cheap to me it's not cheap to Turkish people that are on Turkish wages I'm not on a Turkish wage I'm very lucky so I think that's it I'm going to open um, I'm going to open the, the meat so you can see it so just bear with me I'm going to hold you up for a change rather than turn you off so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to give my hands a quick wash I hope everybody's well um, I was hopefully, hopefully having some friends out my son was going to come out in May it's obviously March at the moment my son was going to come out in, uh, in May I'm my best friend but looking at what's happening now in the UK um, if you decide to come abroad it looks like a £5,000 fine so that's not going to be good is it I'm absolutely gutted so my friends and my son won't get to see where I live or next year maybe it's so sad so can you see what I'm doing yeah so I think this is the steak oh my god it's gorgeous so that's the steak I'll show you that in a minute Last time I was on about racking the bags, weren't I? And listen at me, I'm racking God knows what today. And this is lamb. So I'll pick you up and show you. The lamb never looks exciting. It always looks a bit dowdy, but to be truthful, it's always gorgeous. So it might be steak tonight. So I got three steaks. I'm not sure what they are. I like to see a steak with a bit of fat running through because it actually is tenderised it and it's really really nice but these look beautiful. These cost me £4.90 for three beautiful steaks like that. And this is, I'm going to change hands because I've been touching the steak. This is the lamb. It never does look inviting honestly. Uh, for some reason it always looks a bit dark and if you buy lamb pieces here they can be quite tough and gristly so I always oh pardon me I always buy lamb steaks I've got four that's a bit of a tiny one. Oh, I see that's what he's done yeah and um, I've got four uh, but they're always beautiful and I don't cook them for long I only cook them for oh at the most four or five minutes four minutes probably and they are beautiful and they, you know nice and pink inside gorgeous so I think it's going to be steak and roast potatoes for tea tonight and um, but it's only dinner time well it's half past two in the afternoon so that's my haul for now and um, there was something else I was going to show you but I can't remember what it was I'm just going to wrap this I'll just cover the meat over for now until I can because obviously like at home at home it's still home is England and um, it'll get frozen and um, I'm in the middle of windows I've just washed the board I'm going to have some lunch have a coffee do the windows and and I suppose you're really interested in all that aren't you and um, I'm going to show you outside because actually beautiful sunshine today so beautiful sunshine but it's not actually hot and um, it's about 10 degrees it's actually warmer in Hull where I come from than it is here but it's definitely spring look at all the flowers are out the building in here is just further down that way which is um, on the way to the beach you can just see if you can see through 
there, that is a C that you can see there. But as everything starts growing now, you know, I'm going to lose that. And I had a horse here who was up here as well. And I'll try, I'll put a picture in if I can of him. And it got left. Oh, I can see him actually. I oh, know he's gone. That's a tree trunk. <laughs> um, they moved him down there, further down. It's a bit of waste on this, so they moved him further down. That needs cutting. Oh, thank goodness I don't have to do it. I'm going to wash all this as well. This all needs washing. Getting ready for the, the good weather. And it looks like we're going to get some rain. But it's beautiful. And it's quite chilly out. So I'm going back in. And yeah, next week we're into the 20s. Still a bit cold in the morning. <laughs> I don't know if I said in my, in my last vlog, uh, I said to my son-in-law, who's Turkish, um, so when does it start getting warm? We went 21st of March, and went, <laughs> this was a few weeks ago, and I went, that was very precise. He said, but that's, with, that's spring, 21st of March. He said, it'd be warm on that day. Yeah, it actually was, because that's my eldest son's birthday. And oh my God, he was 49. Shows you how old I am. So yeah, um, next week, Spring is definitely here, so um, it's been really nice to just have a walk down on the front, even though it's a bit chilly. There is a beautiful lady called Fairpool. She owns um, the Palm Beach um, it's restaurant, but it's like a big cafe and they have tables outside. She is so lovely. She makes you so welcome and she looks after you. I've been on on there quite often and had a bacon sandwich, yep, a bacon sandwich, and some chips. And she does them sort of chips that, do you remember when your mum used to do them? They were, they were like french fries. They were like chubby chips and they were quite floppy, but they were so gorgeous. And she does them kind of chips. So you get a bacon sandwich and a great big bread cake with loads of bacon in it. Um, a cup full, like it's like, it's like a, a sort of cup full of chips. And then she puts tomatoes and cucumber and a little bit of lettuce with it. And it's like a meal in itself. And it's £2 for the whole lot. And I usually have a chai or a coffee. And I'm seriously talking myself into one at the moment. I could walk down there and have one now. But no, I'm not going to do. Right, I've waffled long enough. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. I'm so sorry if you was expecting a holiday. I'm so sorry for my friend and my son. Um, that are not going to make it here if those restrictions stick in England and um, but you've got to do what you've got to do and you know this has got to stop somewhere I haven't yet had my vaccine and um, even though here most people my age have I'm waiting for my residency card to come until I get that residency card and um, there's nothing I can do so I just hope, God, hope to God I don't get ill no, I would still get I would still get looked after. Uh, that's what I was going to show you. You know something else? Come for a walk with me. Look at the mess. I do need to tidy up. I got. I'll do it here next to the laptop. And um, I needed some. You know how when you're abroad, you always bring with you like diarrhea tablets, indigestion tablets and things like that. I didn't bring any indigestion tablets and I've been suffering quite bad. Now I always drink black coffee but here they have like a really nice coffee whitener. So I started having coffee with coffee whitener in which actually has got sugar in it and I've been putting weight on which is silly. But every I kept getting really really bad indigestion and then I realised that's what it was. I've gone back to black coffee and I'm fine now. But I didn't bring anything for indigestion. That's actually why I got the bicarb, because a little bit of bicarb in water actually will bring your wind up, so that's why I got that. But today I went into a chemist and I'll show you what I got. Whoa. Let's see if I can show you properly. What you see is the bag. So I went into a chemist. I'll show you the rest of the things I've got. And look, Rainies. 
Um, it's not something I use a lot, but I went to a chemist the other day um, near me, and in my, thank God for Google Translate, into my app I put indigestion tablets, um, please, and it came up, whatever it said, look fen, look fen is please, and um, he gave me a thing, it was about two pounds something, I got home and it was Dulclax, which is what you take when you're constipated. Now, I don't have that problem of being constipated. In fact, sometimes I have, like, diarrhoea after having been ill last year. And I do have bouts of diarrhoea now and again. So today we did manage to find some diarrhoea tablets. Now, I was paying three or four pound for Lopamid is... Um, it's Lopamid or something um, that was given in hospital. And this is the same thing. Now I was paying for six tablets, about four pound. These are twenty tablets for one pound seventy. This just shows you the the price differences. It, it makes me wonder why things are so so expensive in the UK. Um, because they shouldn't be. And these are just the tiny little tablets, which is what I've I have had to, have been taken. So I got a couple of those. Because you never know. Hopefully I won't need them too much. Right, so then I went into we went into what's called L C Home. L C W Home. And I found this gorgeous cup. I'm going to pick you up so you see it properly. Isn't that nice? I am really weird when it comes to cups. I can't stand really thick. This is quite thin. I felt like I had a chip in it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's thin. I've, there's two cups that came actually with it, with the, like mugs that came with the apartment, and they're that thick they make me balk. They're that bad. And I've got one, but when the dishwasher's on, I can't use that cup, so I end up washing it all the time. So I thought I'm going to need another one. I was trying to buy my daughter one, but she wouldn't have one. Because she's proud. And I also got. Some shorts for the summer. Isn't it nice when you they're actually pajamas. I won't I won't lie to you. They are pajamas. I'll step back. Got a bit of a frill on the bottom, but they're not the short short shorts. So these are like an extra large. But if you buy a large here, it's like buying a size fourteen. Again, size differs. Again, like America. So this is the top to it. And you know I'm crappy on it showing tops and stuff. This was, I think it was 4 99 This pyjama set, like I said, yeah, 49 lira, 99 is 4 99 and it's an extra large, but it's like, I would say an 18. God knows if it'll fit. Love the colour. The top probably won't fit, but I'm pretty certain the shorts will, and they'll be so nice for the summer. They're, they're, they're cotton, so they'll be cool. I'm quite happy with that. That's it. I'm going to go now because I've bored you long enough. Um, thanks again for watching. Stay safe. Be good. Be kind to everybody. Um, leave a comment and he might want to know about living in Turkey. Um, if, I can answer, if I can answer it, I will do. Uh, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I know everybody says it. Subscribe because it helps the channel. And press the little bell so that you get notified when either I put um, a video up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.